So um, basically, you know, the most important thing when you're jumping water jumps is that you don't get wet, you know, like the last thing you ever want to do at a competition is fall in the water because uh, everyone's there watching and it's, it's, it's quite, uh, quite embarrassing and depressing and, uh, and, and that sort of thing. The two things to try and stay away from falling in the water jump is having your horse trained well. The majority of falls in the water jump is because the horses aren't confident. When the horse isn't confident, he's not sure if there's a little bit of water there or, or masses of feet of water. So you've got to have your horse trained and confident and knowing when it, it sees the water at the water jump, it can pop in and, and they're going to be all right. The number one thing is you've got to have your horse trained in school to jump through water jump and, and they're not worried about it. Uh, the second thing, uh, which is more about the riding, is, is riding in a position that if your horse does trip or stumble or hesitate when he jumps in, um, you've got to be in a secure position um, that, that doesn't allow you to flick over the front of the handlebars and, and get wet. So, With the training aspect of it, you know, my golden rule is you've got to be able to walk your horse in, in and out of water on a loose rein, you know, and, um, and that's the first step of seeing if your horse is uh, confident through water jumps. So um, being able to just go in and out of water time and time again, and different water jumps, not just the same one. Try it. Once they get used to one, that they're happy with that one, then they've got to find another one. With the walking in and out of uh, water jumps, you, you also want to find different entries, points of entries to walk your horse into. Um, you know, the, the hard or the nerve-wracking part for a horse is the moment he goes from dry ground, and, and puts his foot into water, that's when he gets a little bit nervous and tight. So um, trying to find different um, parts of a water jump that you can walk in and out of. Um, and then basically it's a progression from that. Then you can trot in and then, and then slowly canter in. Um, when you get to jumping off a step or a bank into water, you want to encourage your horse not to leap or throw himself into the water. You want a nice, quiet dribble into the water. Um, if you get a big leap and a jump, they often sort of land on all four feet, which is terrible if you've got a jump or, or another obstacle um, uh, ahead of you. You've got to have them just dribbling in so that you can land in a nice forward controlled canter. Um, and then so you basically can just, you know, the, the next name of the game is progression, is with young horses and, and horses starting off with the water jump, starting small, tiny stuff. And then as time goes on, you want to build up to slightly bigger and bigger. Um, I would never train or school massive jumps into water. I'd leave that to the competitions. You know, basically you want your horse feeling bulletproof when he goes to the competition. So if you can manage to school slightly smaller than what you're expecting at the competition, your horse goes to the show with, with you know, a massive amount of confidence. You know. Then the next thing is your position. Um, one thing I've found, all horses jump into water a little bit different. You know, some sort of hesitate and slither in, some leap in, some walk in if nothing's happened. Um, the other thing you've got to think about is the footing and how deep the water is. Some horses will trip or stumble. Um, so the name of the game is being slightly behind your horse in his position, trying to stay behind the motion. You almost got to ride him expecting him that he's going to hesitate or, or, or stutter just before he goes in. So you've got to be behind the motion and, and ready for him not to be quite perfect. Um, if you're ahead of him in a lighter two-point posi uh, position, sometimes you can flick forward and, and fall onto his shoulder and, and then at the same time your horse might be backing up or stalling. Then all of a sudden inertia is jetting you forward over the handlebars. So basically the name of the game with water jumps is having your horse really, really confident in the water. He's got to be able to be assured that every time he steps into water that it's, it's just not a big problem, it's not a big deal. And then the second thing is we've got to ride our horses um, in a manner that if something does go wrong we've got to be uh, in a position in our seat um, that, that, that we're going to hang in there even if it um, doesn't go quite perfect.